All right, now we're going to move on. Speaking of passwords, and and I'm going to talk a little bit about supply chain dangers and um, and why your password management app might be targeted by threat actors. And in this story of, of the week, Password State, which is an Australian-based enterprise password management app, um, its parent company is Click Studios. They alerted customers last week of a breach that they said occurred just on a, a two-day period between April 20, April 20th and April 22nd. And what happened, you know, a password management app is breached. Like that seems a little ironic, right? Um, Well, what happened is that hackers inserted a malicious file alongside one of Password State's regular updates. This made its way into the system largely by way of what's called automatic in-place updates onto Password State's users, computers, and devices. And then when customers performed just the regular updates, and some of them, again, were automatic, over the course of that two-day period, a malicious file was downloaded. And then this set off a process that extracted a bunch of information. And this included all of the data that was stored in password state. Think, you know, what do you put in a password management app? URLs, usernames, passwords, and it also included information about the computer itself. ClickState reported... Um, that users' passwords were only <laughs> exposed for about 24 hours. Um, but when you only. think of only 24, 24, actually 24 to 28 hours is what they said. Um, so, but st- I wanted to step back a minute and just think about the potential damage, okay? So, so Password State's parent, Click Studios, it claims a, a Fortune 500 customer base of 370,000-ish security and IT pros. Okay, that's a big customer base. And then a smaller customer base of 29,000, I would assume, individuals. Yeah, but, but go back for a second, because that security base or that, that base of users you talked yeah. about, yeah, you mentioned those are security professionals. Yeah. These are the people that you, if you're a, you know, a, a devious mind out there, these are the people you want to get. <laughs> because when you get them, you right. recognize they control so much for everybody else. Right. They manage credentials across organizations for all of their devices and all of their services. And so when you when you think about it in that way, you know, it's really kind of impossible to know at this point what the damage here is. Again, this breach did occur over a fairly short period of time. But but more importantly, this is a risk at the supply chain level. And so there there's always a risk, you know, at the enterprise level, at the government level. But, you know, going back even to one of the earliest big, big breaches, right, that I can remember is Target, you know, and when Target's system was breached, it it was because of a vendor, you know, and, and, a, and a lapse of security in a vendor that provided some kind of service. Yet again, the supply chain. So you can have all the best security practices and procedures in place, but you can have a vendor that you rely on something for, like a password management system, and just like that, you know, you're in trouble. So this is this is why um, threat actors target supply chain. So they look at, you know, who is this organization, and then who are the vendors supplying? And it's really not all that hard to figure that out. So um, I thought it was an interesting. <laughs> I thought it would be an interesting yeah. segue from your conversation yeah. about Google. Well, you know, so there was an interesting uh, point there. The uh, the vector of attack: automatic updates. That were sent out exactly to a, to a group of people. What does that remind you of? Solar winds. Solar winds. <laughs> exactly. Same exactly. approach. Uh, you know, so they're getting smart. They're finding ways to use the systems themselves to perpetrate increased penetration into organizations. Absolutely. 